Okay, so here's the original clip here. And what I wanna do is I wanna make a selection of the jacket that he's wearing in this clip. So select your clip and then you're gonna hold option and you're gonna drag upwards to duplicate the clip. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna go over here to this magic wand tool, click on that and go to add magnetic mask. So I'm gonna go about here. I'm gonna click once to select the jacket, but hold option and click once to deselect the area that you don't want. And this looks pretty good. We don't want the shirt also being selected, so hold option and click. So once you're happy with that, you're gonna click analyze to analyze the clip this way and this way. So click on analyze, you can kind of see what it looks like. So then go ahead and click on done. And now if I disable the bottom clip, it's going to look like this. It's just gonna be the jacket. We're going to duplicate this middle clip here because this is the clip that we masked out. So hold option and duplicate the clip. So the top clip is gonna be our main mask. The second clip is what we're gonna make black. So disable the top clip by pressing V on the keyboard and then select the second clip and go to the color inspector window here and click on where it says no corrections and go to color board, add a color board and under exposure, bring the highlights all the way down to zero or negative 100 and this will make the image dark. So if you need to refine the mask, just go back and under magnetic mask, under feather, you could feather this out or in. I'm gonna feather this out just a little bit and then I want the jacket to come in a few seconds after. So I'm gonna start this about 10 frames in. So you can go to the beginning, press shift right on the arrow key together to skip 10 frames then go ahead and press command B to split the clips the top and bottom you don't need to do the bottom clip because that's our main reference video then delete the first two so it's gonna be like this go to the effects and then you're gonna go over to the distortion then you're gonna go down and you're gonna go and add the underwater so add that onto this top clip here and remember the second clip is just black we're gonna leave that how it is so we want to start this off kind of like this so i like to start at 0 0.1 for size for speed i leave it how it is i think that's kind of fine and then the refraction this is really cool so this just changes how much it splits from the image i guess if you want it to reveal the jacket start at big so like 200 then add a keyframe at the beginning of this shot here and then make sure you add it on size as well just in case then you're gonna go to the end of that clip just go one frame to the left press the left arrow key from the end of that clip and then you're gonna go to refraction and you're gonna bring it to zero so now it should look something like this. And if you think that's too slow, just go to where it says refraction, take that keyframe out and maybe move it to like halfway and then bring the refraction to zero. So now it goes in much quicker. You can still see his jacket. So just bring the second clip all the way to the beginning. The entire clip should be black or whatever you messed out. Once it finishes like right here, you don't need this bottom clip anymore. So you can just press command B on the keyboard to split the clip and then delete it so that it goes back to the original clip here. So now it'll look like this. I wanna show you a much better way of doing this using the plugin that I have. So if you guys go in the description, it will take you to the Surge Effects Liquid Explosion plugin where you can create all these really, really cool liquid explosion effects and transitions. You can apply this to any masks that you do using the magnetic mask. This is only compatible in Final Cut Pro, however, so just keep that in mind. I'll have a link in the description if you guys wanna try it out. At this point, you made your top mask right here. And then the second clip is just the mask, the same exact clip, just black. And then the background clip is just the main clip. Then you're gonna go over to the titles and generators over here. You're gonna go to the KTP surge effects. I'll have a link in the description. The way it works is first we have our mask. I only want it to affect the mask. So if you want it to affect the entire clip, you would just drag this directly on top of everything and it changes the entire clip as you can see. Once you make your cut on this, it will adjust its speed automatically so you don't have to do anything else. And if you click on it, you can then adjust further settings here and shift the colors and all that and adjust the scale of this explosion liquid explosion effects. What you're gonna do is once you've made your length to match this top clip here, you're gonna select both of those. You're gonna hold option G to group them together. And I'm gonna name this top clip just for this time being. Now you can see that it just affects the jacket, but you can see that it does the opposite, which is not what we want. So I made three different versions. So the first one, it starts normal and then it starts the liquid explosion. Then you have the reverse, which does the opposite. So it starts with the liquid explosion and then it goes back to the original clip. And then you have have a transition which kind of combines the two because I want this clip to reveal the jacket I'm gonna use the reverse okay so I'm gonna drag that onto the top clip and then I'm gonna trim the end delete it and then select both of those top clips here hold option G to group them and I'm gonna name this new one for now so now if I go back and push play 
it's going to look way, way better than just the stock Final Cut Pro version with the distort. So what we're gonna do is hold option and drag upwards, just as before. With the top clip, you're going to go to the beginning. You're gonna add the magnetic mask onto your logo, whatever it is. In this case, this badge of this Mercedes, click on analyze. So now that we have the clip with the magnetic mask, what we're gonna do is just make the clip black. So same thing as before, we're gonna hold option and we're just going to duplicate this clip. And then with this middle clip selected again, we're gonna go over to the inspector window, go over to this color tab here. So click on color board. It's gonna look like this and you're gonna go over to the exposure tab and then bring the highlights down and this will make the clip black as you can see and then re-enable the top clip and you can kind of see the black background but in this case it kind of works because it's kind of like a shadow of this logo but you could also fix this by just bringing out the feather on this clip as well so now it looks a lot better we're gonna go to the beginning we're gonna go over here click on this down arrow go to transform and then you're gonna start this out of the frame i like to turn on the transparency grid zoom out to 25 and i'm gonna zoom this out i'm gonna rotate this i'm gonna start this big because i want it to end small i'm gonna go a little bit more dramatic like this and then add your keyframe and this is if you want it to start at the beginning if you don't want it to start at the beginning skip a couple frames and then add your keyframe but i want it to start at the beginning so i'm gonna end it about halfway about here and i'm gonna go back click and go to this little plus icon to add another keyframe click on that and then you're going to reset these values so under x just type in zero zero for y zero for rotation and 100 for scale all so now if i go back it's going to look like this it looks a little boring right now so we want to make this look a little more interesting so we're going to go over to the effects i'm actually going to do fish eye First, position this where you want. So I'm gonna go like this, so it looks a little warped. Once you're happy with that, go to where it's just about to end, which is about here. So it ends here. So I like to go five frames before that. So one, two, three, four, five. Right here, I'm gonna add a keyframe next to amount under fisheye and a keyframe next to radius. You could do center view, I'm gonna leave that off. Then go to where it stops, which is here, and then bring the amount to zero and a zero for radius. So now, if I go back, it's going to reset right around here now if you don't like that if it's too abrupt just right click and go to show video animation and extend the fish eye so it looks a little bit more smooth okay like that so i'm actually going to go back to where it starts right here and increase the amount not that much like 56 so when it goes back you can still see that it's warped so now i'm going to add a blur so go to the effects and you're gonna to go to blur and you're gonna add a uh, directional blur onto the top clip i like to go about here and because the direction is going this way i'm going to increase the blur and right about here once it starts to appear on the screen i'm going to add a keyframe under amount and angle skip the couple frames until it stops which is about here and bring the amount to zero. It's going to look a much, much smoother. And I like to add one final plugin from Motion VFX, not sponsored by them in this video, but they are a sponsor on the channel. So shout out to them. Link is in the description if you actually want to check out the Motion VFX where they have a whole bunch of other cool plugins, but they do have a free collection that you could actually download right now. And that's going to be the Motion VFX freebies. Link is in the description as well if you don't want to find it, but Go ahead and drag that onto your timeline above your clip. Trim what you don't need right here, Command B. And I want this effect to start right about here. And once it lands, it's gonna create a cool shake effect and create some clones. If you are not a fan of the clones, you can go into the inspector window and turn off these clones here and adjust all the values. If you want, you can turn off or turn on the shake and all this stuff. I like to have animation in and out enabled. Now, if I go back and push play, it creates a nice shake effect and this is completely for free for you guys to download as well in the description.